Hi everyone, today I want to um, share some experience with you how to remove the um, noise from a tape recording. So I've recently just captured a tape uh, recording of a song that has lots of hiss, a lot of bottom end and not enough top end. But um, using Reaper, which is a fantastic um, though to actually use to this kind of um, mastering process um, and I'm going to show you how it's all done to remove the, the um, hiss as well as to brighten it up get rid of the muddiness uh, give, give some um, compression to level the sounds out and a uh, little bit of loudness but that's a per personal preference so let's uh, get on and I'll show you how it's all done. So basically, you need and and all of these plugins are built into Reaper. That's the good thing about it. So you don't have to purchase anything extra. You don't have to uh, use any other uh, application to do that. Uh, the first thing we need to do is the VST plugin Refear, which is an FFT thing. Now usually a Refear is used as an EQ display, so you can actually see the graph of. Um, uh, you know of, of spectrum of the sound but what we want to do is use it as a subtract so and then we're gonna use the noise level of the tape which is between first song and the second song and you can actually see it here in this gap and capture that noise level create a profile of it and then the system and this plugin will use that profile which will be something similar to this um, as subtraction so you'll remove anything that is below that line and that will get rid of the noise um, it's sort of like a comp filter effect let's 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 have a look and see um, I, you know what I mean once you see it so what we need to do is enable automatic build of noise profile during that noise level from here today just before the second song starts because we don't want any sound in there we just want the noise so let's start and play oops hang on i need to turn it on first <laughs> you, you gotta remember that so let's let's start so now we are capturing the um, noise level and we pretty much can stop about now so now we have the profile which looks something that I had done previously as well so it's not a uh, <laughs> so it looks very similar so that's the first thing so let's have a listen with it on and without without it um, I will mute my microphone so you can actually hear it so Now hopefully you heard all of that noise uh, in the background from the tape. Um, you might have to turn your speakers a little bit louder, uh, but make sure that you turn it back off when the microphone comes back on. Uh, so let's turn it on now. Oops, I forgot to turn the automatic build of profile on. So we gotta do that again. So as you can see how we actually changed the profile because the music came on. So that's why it was all, all different. So let's do that exercise again. <laughs> Hopefully I won't forget to turn it off. Right, now we can turn it off. So I will not try to reprofile it again. And we'll have a listen to the difference um, with and without it. Is 
Did you hear the difference? So he was whisper quiet uh, until the music started. So that's the first step that we need to do. The second step is obviously to get some EQ. And I have gone ahead and profiled this and I know what this song is like. So uh, to just go over it very briefly and quickly is I have removed all the bottom end, anything below 71 hertz. I've used a high pass for that. Uh, and then to get rid of the muddiness, I've around that frequency, I've got rid of some, some of that frequencies. The third is actually uh, about 600, or in this case 640 hertz, is leveling it up. So you've got nice level there. And after that, well, this track, this song, needed a lot of boost, about 3 kilohertz, with a nice wide um, cue or bandwidth, um, which is what it's called here. So it covers the whole lot. So let's have a listen to the difference between without it and um, afterwards. Uh, we can start from there. So a nice bright. Dull, dead. Nice bright. but no noise. So that's the thing. If you use just EQ to brighten it up and get rid of muddiness, you still get a lot of hiss. But what this one does here is over here is getting rid of the hiss. And that's that point there here, if you can see about um, seven uh, kilohertz is a nice big hiss sound <laughs> that we're getting rid of uh, by using that plugin. And the next one, again, very quickly is compression. Uh, it's a matter of just adjusting the perimeters to get the best sound and in my case I have adjusted bandwidth because there's nothing past the um, in this case about 8.3 kilohertz so uh, there's no point to compress anything so let's have a listen before it let's read it so let's read out it it's very subtle, um, but if we go forward, so the difference so far, without it. Much more listenable. Is that a word, listenable? I don't know. I just probably made up a word, listenable. Yeah, well, you can listen much more comfortably. The other last two, um, one is real loud, just to make it louder. Not really necessary, but it's just a preference, a personal preference. And a limiter is probably a good idea to have um, just on 0.5, so that way you don't um, go over, you don't uh, really, um, you know, distort the signal. Uh, the song and loudness again very subtle let's have a listen and again you can adjust the um, you know the loudness level i've just put it to 100 percent um and um and that's it so let's have a complete listen of the difference between without it and with it uh, and we might go back to the beginning so um, you can hear how it starts without the noise and then nice and clear so that's without it oh noise
So as you can see, um, we got rid of noise, made it really nice and bright, and most likely it'd be a um, little bit more touch-ups and it'd be all good, uh, ready uh, to um, give it back to the client, nice and clear. It's an old recording, so it's about um, 20 years old on a cassette. <laughs> not even an original cassette it's a copy cassette um, so um, yeah that's how it's all done if you have any questions please do comment on the video blog um, if you haven't subscribed please do subscribe that way you get in uh, informed of any new tips and tricks about uh, recording um, you'll be in uh, you'll be informed and um, thanks for watching